B12. Um, normally I buy the supplement, normally I buy the small bottle. I think there's 30 capsules in each of the bottles. I think it's enough for a month. However, I've run out and that is vitamin B12. I've run out of the supplement that I normally use. And so when I went over to the store to get my ginger for my barometric type problem I have with my health, um, I went and I looked to see the vitamin B12. I wanted to see if I was getting the right vitamin B12 and <laughs> unfortunately I wasn't. I was purchasing the Sino uh, cobalamin and that's not the one I need. That one, the Sino uh, cobalamin has remnants of cyanide in it and thus the name cyano at cyanide there is trace amounts of cyanide in it and the problem with that is when they build up especially if you're overdoing it with the supplementation um, and you know I mean there might be times that I overdo it a little bit you never know I mean maybe I've forgotten that I've already taken one and I take another or you know maybe I'm eating a lot of foods with vitamin B12 and then I take a supplement you know what I'm saying? So there might have been some times I overdid it and I'm kind of like, you know, I'm getting up in age so that memory's not the greatest and uh, I might have done it. So I don't want to have an overabundance of vitamin B12, especially the cyano um, cobalamin. Now there is two different types of cobalamin, which is the vitamin B12, and that is cyano cobalamin or methyl cobalamin. Now, the one that I need is the methyl cobalamin. And um, that one, I went to see if the store where I purchased my supplement, if they had it, and they did. However, the cyano uh, cobalamin is cheaper. It's only $9 for a small bottle. And on the other hand, the one that I need and the one that's actually good and I don't have to worry too much about is the methyl cobalamin. And that one was 15, almost $16. So do you see what I'm saying? That a lot of the times I can't afford the supplementation and so I have to look to food. And if the food's too expensive, I have to look to supplementation. And if supplementation and the food is too expensive, I have to look toward the spices. So. <laughs> I kind of, you know, I'm not going to be able to use the supplementation because I can't afford that much. So I am going to have to use the nutritional yeast where all the B vitamins are. There's a lot of B vitamins in nutritional yeast and there is a whole list of them. Um, indeed, I am going to purchase nutritional yeast. And I keep it in a jar. I've only got a little bit left. Now, it does have... A smell to it. It smells almost like dirty socks, but it actually smells exactly like Parmesan cheese, okay? And nutritional yeast, you can basically do the same thing that you can do with the Parmesan cheese. You can sprinkle it on your spaghetti. You can put it in your omelet, um, omelets, things like that, in your foods, okay? So this is basically what I'm going to use because it's cheaper. A bag of nutritional yeast costs about $10.95 if you get it at, I think it's Walmart. Sometimes they have it at Loblaws, not very often. The Loblaws that I shop at lately, they haven't been getting uh, the products that I need. So I am going to check out um, different uh, places that I can get it. You can get it on Amazon, you can get it at Walmart, things like that. So, and the one that I did look up, it was $10.95 for a package. So it's a lot cheaper than the supplementation. So you can also get your vitamin B12 through your food. If you don't like the taste of nutritional yeast, if you don't like the consistency of nutritional yeast, if you don't like the smell, I mean, it does smell like dirty socks. If you don't like that, you can choose to get your vitamin B12 through your food. And you would get that through animal proteins. You could get it through beef. You can get it through dairy and eggs. You can also get it through organ meats. And this is something that when I was a child, my mother used to make. She used to make liver and onions with a very dark gravy. And you know what? It was very good, very good. I loved it. I still like liver to this day. Mind you, I haven't purchased it because the price is a little out of my league. So I'm just giving you some options where you can get your vitamin B12 from. So be aware of that. So I just want to tell you what's in the... Um, nutritional yeast and it's got a lot of the B vitamins but it has high amounts right so um, let's start with this thiamine it's got 910 percent 
riboflavin, it's got 610%, niacin, 200%, vitamin B6, 330%, folate, 490%, and vitamin B12, which is what I need, 880%. So, and I'm not making this up, right? So basically what I do is, because of my memory, I am getting older, I put the, uh, the amounts, I put it right in the jar. It's a little piece of plastic. I just put it in the jar. It's not going to do, do me any harm. So definitely um, my grocery order is going to um, include vitamin B12 from nutritional yeast. So I'm going to off to the store and get myself some nutritional yeast. I'll see you on the next video. The good Lord be willing.